Hello, this is Blender Helix Alpha speaking. Um, welcome to the third part of our um, ZBrush for Beginners series. Um, so, what we're going to be doing is um, we're going to be taking all of the knowledge that you gained over the last two episodes of this series and um, we're going to be applying that to uh, this poly mesh here and we're going to see what we get. Um, feel free not just to copy um, whatever I'm doing. Um, feel free to make your own um, mesh um, and I mean don't feel like you have to copy my ideas um, you know so we're gonna start off with um, the move um, function we have our X turned on um, that mirrors it we're gonna put our draw size up and our intensity is gonna stay about the same um, we're gonna move our chin down And I apologize because my car my computer is acting like a big dookie head. So we're just going to be molding his chin. And his jawbone. Well, what I like to do is I like to bring it down, especially for aliens. What I like to do is I have my own personal style of alien, and I like to bring it down, and then I like to cave in the cheekbones, and then round it off, and then have that come in. So you have this very wide. Um, jaw length, and now I'm going to bring the mouth down. And the nose down. And I'm going to make him, you know, more grim looking. I'm going to smooth out his hair by holding down shift. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down mask, which is control, and drag a box. And then start down here and do that. I'm going to give him some sort of headband. I'm going to go to my brush, cover layer. And then um, it's just called layer. And then I'll um, set my intensity down quite a bit, I think. And layer that a bit so and then I'm going to go to masking clear so I gave him that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn down my draw size and I'm just going to start um, giving him some design on his scalp and right clicking to go to my quick menu so I don't have to keep going up there a lot of this tutorial is completely based on creativity and artisticness so sorry if I can't give you any tips on that kind of stuff that's, that comes naturally and you can practice at it and uh, anyone can do it so so now he has sort of a design on top of his head and I'm going to switch to let's see what I can switch to let's switch to rake and turn the draw size up a bit see if we can't get a um, okay turn that up a bit Z intensity is up quite a bit I'm going to give him a little um, a little a little bit of texture around his hairline ish area
excuse me. Um, so I'm going to be shaping a little bit of hair down here. It doesn't have to be hair, it could be anything. It could be a cord coming out of his brain stem. You know, use your imagination. So we have that. Um, I'm going to start on snake hook. I'm going to start pretty small. I'll have snake hook about on 10. That's not what we want. I'm going to turn this up a bit. So now that we have that, we've messed around with that a little bit. I'm going to use some. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go back to layer. Z intensity up a bit. Draw size down a bit. I'm just going to start shaping some detail on his shoulder. Like a strap of some kind. I'm going to give his hair some layer to it. I'm going to shorten that down about to four and start here and draw a design. I'm actually going to control Z that because I don't like how that looks. However, I will keep the nose. And now I'm going to start um, on the tracks, tracks 2. Set the alpha to um, Let's set the alpha to alpha 58. Set the density about 20. Set the draw size about 45. I'm actually going to turn the intensity way down from 20 to about 9. Just going to start dragging down, giving him some texture. Be sure and cover his whole face. Turn the intensity up a bit.
looking pretty good so far. So I'm gonna um, mess around here and try to see if I can make it if he looks like he has gills. So I did that. And I'm gonna change up the alpha and just keep messing around with this stuff. I'll change it to... Hmm. Let's change it to that. Set the intensity quite high. Set the draw size quite high. Whoa. Now, what we can do is we can go to inflate. Give this guy some more muscle mass. Slowly adding on to his muscle tone. So hopefully by now, on your screen, you see um, a personalized character of your own um, slowly being developed, and um, if you came in to this tutorial not knowing anything about ZBrush, hopefully you left the tutorial knowing something about ZBrush. Alright, well, there's our character. Um, if you're happy how it is, um, then, you know, um, if you're happy how it is, just go to this movie tab, click turntable, make sure, actually go down to your modifiers first, put recording F FPS at 12, playback FPS at 25 or 24, um, spin frames, you want at about 250. Um, spin count. I would I would suggest at least four. Um, that just means how many times he spins around. Um, and then click record turntable. Let that go. Um, it's going to record frame by frame very slowly. Not very slowly, but if you do f the more uh, spins you do, the, the longer it's going to take. But you just let that go. And then uh, play a movie to make sure it looks good. And then um, and then export. And export it wherever you need to on your computer, upload it to YouTube, and, and uh, as a video response, I'd love to see it. Um, I hope this tutorial helped you. Um, so, yeah, guys, thanks a lot. If you liked this tutorial, I would really like you to subscribe and support my um, YouTube videos. Thanks a lot, guys.